Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Steve, KI5JUF. Hope everyone's having a good afternoon out there. So I got another video I put together. I had some ideas um, about some things that I wanted to work on, some projects. And one of the videos is I wanted to talk about was actually <coughs> programming uh, and getting on 2-meter FM repeaters. Uh, I did a video earlier on Simplex, and I thought, well, you know what? It might be fun to do one on repeaters, because if you're a new ham out there and you are itching to get on that repeater, well, I'm going to show you how to do it on the FT9918. I'm going to talk you through a little bit about repeaters and so forth, and we'll actually program a uh, repeater frequency into the FT9918. And I'll take you through it step by step so you can kind of get an idea what what's involved. So repeaters... Uh, one thing is, how do you find repeaters? Well, there's a couple of good sources you can go to. One of them is uh, you can Google local clubs, for example, such as uh, Dallas Amateur Radio Club is one I looked up. Um, another site is um, the WARRL has a club site that, that you can actually go to and uh, look up clubs in your area. And another good source is repeaterbook.com, and you can get this for your iPhone or your Android, or you can just go to the website and look up repeaters and so forth. So pretty, pretty good stuff there. Uh, one thing I'll tell you, uh, a lot of clubs have uh, what they call club repeaters, and on these club repeaters is where they actually do a lot of traffic and so forth. So a lot of times you can scan the repeaters in the morning and in the evenings, and you can catch people going back and forth to work. Uh, another idea is, you know, find out if your club has a Saturday morning breakfast or something and get together. And that's always a good way to, you know, generate some interest too and learn what the local repeaters are and maybe do some simplex antenna work. You know, it's always a good way to meet people and get projects going. And we love projects. So quick review, simplex. Uh, we've Everyone's pretty familiar with this. You transmit back and forth on the same frequency. Um, not no big deal there. But now let's talk about what a repeater does. A repeater actually takes your radio signal and runs it through a duplexer or a controller and it retransmits your signal on a slightly different frequency. And you can see in this example here uh, we are transmitting on a 146.360, which is the receive frequency of the repeater. And the frequency of the repeater will shift based on the offset, and it will rebroadcast your exact same message on a slightly different frequency. A common repeater, uh, there's a repeater that requires uh, CTCSS, which is Carrier Tone Coded Squelch System. What this repeater does, and almost all repeaters require a tone to access them. And the reason they do that is because uh, if propagation is coming in, they just don't want anybody to key up and, and, and hit the repeater. You, you need to have a, what's called a key. And the key is uh, in your radio. It's set up as a CTCSS, which is a tone, essentially. And that key will unlock the repeater. And in this, this example here, you have to have a key on your transmit side over here and what happens is when you transmit here's your frequency and this is your actual key right here they call it this is your pl tone or your tone and when you transmit to the repeater this key will open the repeater to your radio and it will also rebroadcast your same message but it will also have a key in the transmit from the repeater and then that requires your radio also to have the key or a lock. And that key from the repeater will open your squelch and it will allow you to hear the repeater. So basically all repeaters require a tone. And again, the tone's like a key that unlocks the repeater. Some repeaters also transmit a tone, and a kit which unlocks your radio squelch, and you can hear that specific repeater. So that's a little bit about what CTCS, and I'm going to take you through in program one. The second type of repeater is a, a tone only, and this is where the repeater requires an access key from your radio. However, the repeater, when it transmits, it does not transmit a key, and anyone can hear the anyone can hear the repeater. So we'll do one of these also. So these are the common types you'll see: a CTCSS, where a key is required to access the repeater, 
and a key is transmitted with the repeater and your radio has to have the code where you can actually hear the repeater. And that's an uplink and downlink. So let's talk a little bit about repeaterbook.com. This is a good reference here. So essentially the downlink, this is the transmit frequency of the repeater. And this is the frequency you'll adjust your VFO to. The uplink frequency, this one here, this is the receive frequency of the repeater, and this is the frequency you will transmit to the repeater on. You have the offset. This is the transmit frequency shift, and your radio will perform this. Typical shifts are minus 6 megahertz and plus 5 megahertz for UHF. The uplink tone, this is the PL code or the tone. This is the downlink tone. Now, a tip, if you have, if the repeater has both an uplink and a downlink tone, you're going to program your radio for CTCSS. Now, if the repeater only has an uplink tone, you're going to record, you're going to program your uh, radio for encode only. So if it has an uplink and a downlink, it will be CTCSS. If it's an uplink only, you're going to pick ENC. And I'll take you through this on the radio. So again, this is how we're going to program the radio. We'll go over to the radio and we'll program the BFO. We'll set the offset. We'll set the uplink tone and the downlink tone. And then we'll practice. We'll give it a try. So again, in summary, uh, this is your typical repeater frequencies. And of course, uh, repeaterbook.com will actually take you here. and You can click on any state. And then, of course, you can drill down and find any particular repeater that you want. It's a pretty good resource. And the last thing we'll do is we're going to do something on the video is we're going to set our function keys in this fashion here. You have meter, squelch, RF power, and memory channel. And I'll show you that we'll do that because that's the best way to use FM. And I'll show you how to move these buttons around and so forth. So, okay, well that's this part of the video. We'll get uh, we'll get to the radio and we'll be we'll be back. Good afternoon, Steve again, the Cat Five JUF. So we're back at the radio. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to adjust these to where we want to have meter here, squelch, power, and memory channel. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we'll do is we'll go over here and we're going to select F1 and we're going to touch swap. Notice how it starts flashing. While it's flashing I'm going to go locate meter. There's meter right there. Watch what happens when I press it. Oh, whoops, I think we must have timed out here. Let's go back again. F1. We'll go to meter and when I press meter now we have meter there alright now what we'll do the next one squelch is fine RF power is fine but we're gonna fix this last one right here so we're gonna go over and let's go back over to F4 and we're gonna press swap right here you notice how it's flashing now we're gonna go find memory channel which is MCH Watch what happens when I press it. It's going to go down here. See how that went? So again, you just you actually what you'll do is if you want to move these around, whenever you press the F button, while it's flashing, you can scroll back and forth and pick anything you want. And when you press it, it'll populate down here. So that's how you get those back. So I always like to have meter. We'll go here to power. There we go. I like to have meter squelch and RF power. All right, so let's go ahead and program the repeater. So the pro the repeater we're going to program, and the frequency is going to be. Uh, we want to make sure we're in the right mode, which is FM, and the frequency. We're in FM. There. Now we're going to go ahead and enter the frequency of 146. Nine six zero 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 zero, and we're going to press enter. Okay, now that's the receive frequency. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press FM list. 
let's see here. FM list, and I'm going to go over and I'm going to locate repeater, RPT. Now right now we're set to simplex, so we're going to go ahead and change that to a negative shift. And if you notice right there when I press, when we're in simplex we have nothing up here, but when I press this, watch what happens. We're in a positive shift, now we're in a negative shift, and that's where we want to be. The tone will be CTCSS, and it's going to say decode up here, which is normal. Okay, now we have to enter the actual tone, which is 146.2. Alright, now we have all that set. So now what we'll do is let's verify we've got the repeater set to a negative shift, which you see it here and here. The tone is CTCSS, and the tone itself is 146.2, so that looks good. So now what we'll do is we'll press the AM button once, and I'm going to save this one in memory location 6. See right there, 6. I'm going to press and hold the AM button. All right, it just populated number six. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to memory channel. And let's see here. Let's see what we want. To, oh, we, we need to get out of VFO mode. So I'm going to press VM to go to memory. Now there's memory location six. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a tag to it. Tag is the name. And we're going to call this one uh, KC. Five, whoops, uh, KC five, ah, uh, messed up again. KC five, O L O, and I'm going to put KTEX as the title I've got on it. It's, I think it's at the KTEX tower. Okay. Now we have it titled, so we're going to hit back, press VM again. Now we have it set. So now what we'll do, we have a negative offset and we're set for decode, which is CTCSS. Let's see if we can hit the repeater. This is KI5 JUF monitoring. A C 5 O L O repeater PL 146.2. All right, we're good. We are into that repeater. We've set it up for CTCSS. Uh, we've taken care of the shift, and we've set it to a minus shift, CTCSS, and we have access to the repeater. So, again, what's pretty cool is you can see this is the receive frequency, but this is the transmit frequency. So, anyway, that'll get you on the CTCSS repeater, and, uh, uh, you know, Hope this is helpful, uh, and uh, I enjoy doing these videos, so again, we'll uh, put this up, and um, hopefully we can help help the new guys out, because at one point I was a new guy, and I appreciated all the videos I saw. So again, 73 from KI5JUF. Steve, have a great week, and uh, we'll talk to you again. Thanks again for watching.